Yeah. Turns out that oh, that's today nice. wasn't... Anyway. It wasn't as bad as we think we are. it is. <laughs> so, hello everyone. Uh, this is Jeremy, your host, and welcome to the podcast uh, Row 4D 11s. Uh, today we're gonna continue on the story we last left off. Do you guys remember where we left off? Do we just... Uh, we finished talking to the veteran. No, we finished talking to the mayor. We still have to talk to... Oh, right, we, we uh, go away, kid. like, angrily. Red Riding Hoods. Well, yeah, we, we were gonna deliver the letter to the Red Riding Hoods, but also there's the kid who found the cave that we still haven't decided whether or not we should go pay him a visit. Yep. But here's what Ararias is gonna do. This is the really big brain Ararias play here, right? <coughs> so you see, I think the boy's suspicious. You know why? First, we are looking for a spoiler. And you can't spell spoiler without spoy. And you know yeah. what you can spell spoy without? A boy. So I say the boy must be a spoy working for the black spoiler. What? I never thought about it like that. It makes sense. <laughs> that can't... makes so much sense. I... You mm. can't spell spoiler without a spoy. And you can't spell a spoy without a boy. <sighs> I'm losing brain cells again. <laughs> Well, I mean, Montana can't spell anyway. That's true. You're, that you're is, losing My spelling's nothing. not that good either. <laughs> you don't know. It'll so we just have to go with Ararias' idea. You can't spell. You can't. <laughs> you don't know about spelling to refute the idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. <clears throat> yep, you don't know enough. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, but I, I, I think that's, that's, a spot good, that's a good idea. Sounds good, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense to me. So, I say we should go find the kid and beat him up. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, well, I mean... <laughs> beating up is a bit extreme. Okay, we should, we should interrogate him. That's fine. <laughs> How, what? I, I, I don't like... assaulting minors. <laughs> So, so In general, assaulting minors are bad. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad idea. Uh, is this... Yeah, that's a minor offense. <laughs> it is. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> Un unless we're assaulting minors who are mining rock, then that's that's actually still not fine, because they're just, you know, working a job. And assaulting people, just trying to earn their keep is a bad idea. What were we talking about? We're, talk we're, talking we're about deciding whether or not we should pay the killer visits. You mean beating well, up a boy? Well, we do have this very nice written... See, what is it? A cease and desist? I don't know. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, right, it's a cease and desist letter. It's a very strong worded letter from the mayor. <laughs> yeah, it's a very strongly worded letter. To the... Rep, to the... Red writing. Red red, red, red. <laughs> so what does it actually say, like, written out? Okay. Does it say Red Riding Hood, or does it say... They say red brands, like, oh. the mayor is too scared to, like, change the words anyway. But the mayor wrote it, right? Yeah, the mayor wrote it, so you don't want to change that. Like, if Ararias knew, he'd be like, Oh, it's addressed to the wrong people. Uh, I wanted it to be addressed to the Red Riding Hood. <laughs> but, I guess not. I, I'll, I'll pretend I don't know about this. Whole letter thing. <laughs> I don't know who's carrying the letter. I, I thought I was because I snatched it from. Yeah, probably. You were like, sign <laughs> here! Okay, so. so uh, are we gonna <coughs> deliver the letter or are we gonna go interrogate our spoil friend? Our little spoil boy. <laughs> well, it's up to you. Which one do you think makes more sense? I feel like we just drop off the letter and then go find the boy. I don't imagine anything going wrong. So, you, so, like, so yes, like let's recap about the information we have. As you yeah. guys do know where the red brands is hiding out is near the this the, the sleeping giant's house. Yeah, that and also you know their base because uh, fucking it's under uh, the manor. Yeah, yeah, the manor. I take notes. My character doesn't, but I do. <laughs> 
Uh, and then we are look also looking for a banshee lady. Yep. And but a spell book. Uh, I have the comb. I have her comb. Yep. Yes, a very kind of expensive looking comb. And then uh, the other side, one more side quest, if I remember correctly. <coughs> There's the all the undead. Oh yes, the undead the uh, watchtower. Yep. Undead yep. problem. And then the that problem. the boy and the cave, which we suspected to be related to the red brands anyway, but yep, the very suspicious child. Yes, the spoy boy. Yep, I suspect he's working for the black spoiler. <coughs> hey. Okay. So uh, well, that's not really relevant, right? We don't really care about the black. Well, we, which one do we care about more? I guess is a better question. The red yeah, brands. Yeah, we, we care spider? about the red brands more at this moment because they're directly affecting our livelihoods. Mm. Well, not our livelihoods in general. I'm just. Re uh, our, they're really not. Yeah, our rise is just really. They're not that threatening, <laughs> <laughs> as far as we know. Our rise is just not very mm. happy that he has to deal with bandits. In, in a town That's where true. he's supposed to be like... <coughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of bandits either. But I still feel like... Um, we're supposed to rescue... <sighs> Gundrim? Gundrim, yeah. <laughs> Let, let's... Our employer. Yeah, but our only clue to where Gundrim might be is a general sense of direction. Oh, but if the boy is working for the Black Spider, which I 100% believe... <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Christ. Alright, this boy must know about Gundren, so we're gonna go pay the boy a visit. This, this, boy, this boy boy working for the Black Spider. That's, that's, you know what? I'm gonna go with that. That makes sense to me. Let's do it. Okay. So, so we're gonna go visit actually, the boy. Okay, so you guys like go to the the elder leaf farm. Elder leaf. So like it's on the other Actually yeah, on the other side of town. Because you you guys were like going from the orchard and like like walk to the other side of town yeah. and then now you're at the the farm. Yeah. Uh, do we see the boy anywhere? So, uh, when you go to the farm, uh, you see a, a female, uh, a halfling female, oh. uh, just like doing some like farming work. And you look at, uh, she see you guys like passing by, and then like you see like his, her son, like kind of like running around. The same kid in the bar, right? What? The same kid we met, or a different one? Different one. Oh, okay. Right, I'm I'm gonna go approach them and I'm gonna be like, um, a short lady. <laughs> so I'm looking for a child who's probably working for for a black spoiler, and uh, apparently he's been like. Uh, missing in some cave, middling about in some caves before he got, uh, got uh, apprehended by, by the, the Riding Hood bandits. So, uh, we suspect he, he's a spy for the Black Spoiler. Do you know where this kid might be? Oh, you must be talking about Carp. Uh, yeah, Carp is my son. And like he has been like talking about this whole like tunnel thing and like the whole thing with bandits. So so so, so your son is a fish. Your your son is a fish. Your son is a carp. No, oh, that's his that's his name. Well, when he grows up, maybe he'll he'll join the shrine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What what is this? Is this? Is, is he gonna evolve into another Gyarados? <laughs> uh, any... When he hits, when he when he becomes twenty, he'll uh, <laughs> leave home. <laughs> okay. Uh, so so your son is a carp. Okay. I, I won't question your. I won't question your choice, lady. Where can we find this carp of yours? 
He's just running around. You see him over there, right? Like you can see that kid like still like running around the farm. Lady, I don't think Anything he's around. a fish. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's, that's, that's true. <laughs> I've seen fish before and they don't have legs. She's lying. She's working for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, you guys oh, must so have like get get something really <clears throat> wrong. Carp is just my son's name. And he's not a fish. <laughs> So if you want to talk to Carp, you can just like go over there and talk to him. She is surprisingly patient with me, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'll I'll talk to your son. Thank you, thank you, old, uh, thank you, short lady. Uh, so, hey there, boyo. Uh, yes, sir. So. What's it like working for the Black Spider, eh? <laughs> Tell me, what where's Thundering? About? <laughs> Tell I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but... I'm, in, I'm inside checking him like crazy, by the way. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna believe a word he says. <laughs> inside checking? <Okay>. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Everything he says, I'm inside checking, just FYI. What's the <laughs> totally bought into Arrow's idea? <laughs> uh, so, so, so you're working for the Black Spoiler? You you can't hide from me, me. I I know I know. Yeah, like, where's Gundren hiding? Uh, wait, where do you hide Gundren? Boy, I'm sorry, sir. I just, I'm just really confused. I I don't I don't know any. Fuck, that's an eight. <laughs> he is not lying. <laughs> mm, maybe he's not important enough to know. Mm, he's not high enough in the hierarchy. So, yeah. what what have you learned from the tunnel? What what why are you spying on the turn, little little boy? Uh, uh, why are you guys here? <laughs> Sorry, what did you say, Jeremy? Why are you guys here? <laughs> no, I want to know what you're trying to do to the town. Why, why are you, why, why were you poking around in the cave? What, what, what's the tunnel got to do with what your plans are, mate? Right? Yeah, you oh, oh, you guys, you guys must have heard the story about that cave I discover. Hey. We know it's your secret tunnel to, to, to reach the Black Spoiler, and it, it's it's the place where you go to the trade information with the with the bad wizard of turn. It's 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 no, no, no. it's the no, no, warrior no. dude still with us. Is he? No, like is he doing you guys are alone. Though? Nah, you guys are. He he is like he's off doing his own like investigation. Okay, or maybe he's looking for his wizard. <laughs> All right, good, yes, because... traitor. <laughs> That's good because if he was here, he'd be rolling his head so he'd be rolling his eyes so hard. But we might get fired. <laughs> so if you guys are like talking about like I don't know any about spiders, but I do see some like big ugly bandits just like come out of the tunnel and like basically, block, like trying to look around. And good thing they didn't see me. I I ran away before like they come get me. I I think like the bandits have their their secret hideout over there. It's near that old manor house, and I think that tunnel is like leading somewhere inside. That's a nine on insight. <laughs> Wait, are you actually rolling insights on that? Yes. You roll it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I rolled. I don't know about Jeremy. If he needs to roll deception, or if it's just straight up the truth, but... No, it's just the truth. <laughs> oh, okay. I think he's... He seems to be telling the truth. Okay. I guess the Black Spider and the Red Bandits don't work together. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, boy. <coughs> I know... I know you're hiding something. Because, you know, you can't spell spoiler without spoil, and you can't spell... Spoy without boy, so so I know you're a spy working for the black spoiler boy. I I 
I I really don't know what spider you're talking about, sir. That's a fifteen. <laughs> he is not lying. <laughs> Oh, then that means maybe there's more than one. There's more than one boy in this turn. <laughs> All the boys are sports. <laughs> Tell me, boy. Where is the other boy? Damn, where are the everywhere. <laughs> where are the other boys? I, I, I mean, I mean, I do have friends, but and I, I, wait, I don't wait, know wait. why they are it's related. A Fifteen on to, to see if he's lying about friends. <laughs> He is not lying about friends. Oh no, he's, oh. he's not lying about friends. He has social connections. He's, he's stronger what? than any of us. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> How big is this network? <laughs> what was the other thing he said? He, he just he's just very confused now, like, looking at you. Are they... Yeah. You may have, you may have hid your truth from us this time, but, but I know better, and I'll have you know that if anything happens, I know it was you. I know if Gundren dies, it was you. <laughs> are you guys, are you guys trying to go to get the? Red brands? I can help you, like, to the tunnel if you want to. <laughs> what, what do we do? Do we take the enemy spy with us? Well, if he works for the Black Spider, maybe the Black Spider wants the Red Brands gone too. We do need to deliver the letter. I have, I have, yes, I have heard the enemy of my enemy. Mm. Spice There's still not. an enemy that needs to be reckoned with. Spice or not. Temporary truth. Spice or not, he, we can we have a hostage with us. Oh, oh that's that's I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? He's he's just tells in the back anyway. <laughs> you shouldn't have said that. But now I'm against it. <laughs> but still, I feel like having a guide would be useful. Well, no, okay. We need to deliver the letter, <clears throat> like properly, without any of this sneaking around. Yep. And then, depending on the response, we'll react appropriately, right? Yep. Yep. So, so, alright, Boyo, you'll be officially be our escorts to the the Riding Hood tunnel thing that you use. So the so-called bandits. That you're totally not working in leagues with. <coughs> so, okay. lead the way, boyo. So, uh, he leads you closer uh, to the manor that, like, the veteran adventurer has mentioned. And the closer you do it, uh, and then he, like, find, and you realize there's, like, a tunnel. Uh, to them, to that, like under some like bushes, and you can see it's very. The tunnel is very close to the side of the mansion, and you can see the tunnel is like leading down. And there's leading like down. no guards. There's no guards here. Oh, but it's normally quite hidden. Like if basically, if the kids doesn't point that out to you, you will never realize that it is here. I'm glad we brought the kid along. If he hadn't come, I don't think we would have seen it. Ari, we need to deliver the letter, so let's go announce our presence. We'll go up to the... Wait, do we go to the manor or do we go to the inn? The sleeping giant's house. Well, we're already here, so we might as well just deliver... <laughs> but we should use the front door. Yeah, we should go up to the manor and knock on the door. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. So Kid, you may want to not... I mean, you've done your part. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave you with these two people. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. <laughs> okay, and then the kids say, Good luck, good luck to you guys! And he just Wait, like... let me inside check that. <laughs> I said 19. He is not lying. 
<laughs> oh, he actually means us luck. I guess the black spider really wants his red brands out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, let's go knock on the manor door. Yep. Uh, so... Montana, you coming or...? E you got something to do first? I was just looking at the kit. Something Okay. Is... No, no, no. I'll fall. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh... Do we just walk up? Do we just knock yeah. on the door then? Well, there's I no door in the Can manor. We... The manor is like all ruins. Oh, it's, it's like a, a oh, it's ruins. Yeah, it's ruined. Uh... No, I can't even knock the door properly. Like, are there any of the Red Riding Hoods scattered the boot? Like, is there any no, like concierge can... I can talk to? Not really, but you can like look around and see if you like can find. There is the receptionist. I thought they were an establishment. <laughs> I mean, they they're officially called a mercenary guild or something, no? But that's what like the mayor say. Proper reception. I mean, I, I'm gonna walk in. The, I'm gonna walk in and look for the reception. Yeah, I'm gonna reception. just look around for someone. Okay, let's do an investigation check. Oh boy, an intelligence-based roll. So, <coughs> oh my goodness, that's a nineteen. Seven oh, plus wow. five. That's a twelve. Okay, so you guys like find some like tr like ah uh, like most of the manor grounds is like deserted and very like ruined, and but you can find uh some tracks, a lot of like foot footprints like leading to a stone staircase, uh just off the empty ruin of a large kitchen, and yeah. So so it leads downwards. Yeah, it leads downwards. So. Judging from the way this plan is pointing downwards, it's just the same way from the cave, isn't it? It's just the same way to go to go from the cave. Like, yeah. like, would I know that? Would <laughs> would you know that? Like, you don't know that for sure, but like, it's both of them are going down. My my seventeen intelligence tells me this is both pointing downwards, so they must meet some point. It's geography, mate. <laughs> Can I make a check on the stonework? What? Can I check the stonework? Oh yeah, of course. What should I think? You should. Is that an investigation or history? You want to check it for damage or whatever. More like how long it's been. The, right, it's basically the, like where it came from. Because I have a special then. trait for that. Yeah, yeah, you that's have your fine. stone cunning or whatever. Yeah, so that's a... <coughs> oh boy, it's an 11. Oh boy. Uh, you, you know that this is like kind of a normal type of stone that is used to build a lot of manners. So it's not like recent. It, it's It's... It's just it, as old as the rest of the place. Yeah, it's age appropriate. Hmm. It's been here just as long as the rest of the place. Why do I sound like an old man when I do that? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it's been here, you know, just as long as the rest of the place. Nothing suspicious. Maybe maybe we should try the cave. Like, we're here on official business. We shouldn't, like, try to sneak in on them on, on a set of staircases that there isn't even a reception desk to. We should find the reception desk at the cave entrance, maybe. Um. Hmm. Suspicious. I've never heard of a reception cave. Maybe, maybe they have more built stuff underneath. I don't know, but I've I've heard it's pretty hard to find reception in caves. I don't know. Uh, Montana, what do you think? Maybe I I want to. Um, we're here on official business. I don't want us like go in through the back door. They'll they'll <coughs> cut down our legitimacy. Yeah, I mean we could leave the letter here, but I'm worried that they won't see it, and then that's on us. Is there a mail? We have to. Is there a mailbox? <laughs> it's a tr good point. Just, just, Do they just, have like a post board or? No, just 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 build a freaking mailbox. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Red Brand's here. Look, he's here. I, you have mail. I still feel like officially we have to hand it over and verify. Hey, we have to we read it. Over. We have to read it out loud. It's the mayor's voice that we're delivering. We can't just let them like 
puts it away like taxes or or like bulls. Well, maybe they're out doing their mercenary business, which is why nobody's home. Let's just go to the cave and see if someone's there doing the front gate. Uh, yeah, okay. Quick quick check, and if they're not there, I guess we can go back to the other sleeping giants. Hey, yeah, so, so you guys space. gonna check on the gate of the actual manor or the... the, the no, no, cave. the cave. Oh, so you're gonna go down yeah. the tunnel. The cave entrance, yeah. Okay, so you like loop back around. Strange for business to have an entrance so concealed. Oh, that <laughs> Who am I to question them? So you loop around and then like you try to like look down at the cave. You can see the cave is still like going downwards. I just, yeah, it seems we'll just more keep nat going till we see a. Till we see the receptionist. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's see. Uh. Yeah, when you walk down, you can feel like a cold breeze just like coming through. Ooh, and... they've got air conditioning. And, and and you can smell a little bit of like decaying flesh, and not a place I'd like to do business in. No. And you can see a crevice, uh, that's like that divides the whole cavern into like two parts, like left and right, and then there's like a middle hole, kind of like a deep dent in the in the. So like middle. So the cave so the is... path splits left and right. Split yep, left split and right. And in the right. middle is a... certain death, basically. Basically a ravine. Yep, and there are like, yeah, it's like a ravine. It's like okay. indoor and underground. Oh. There are like two bridges, like one front and one in the back that can go through it. So it's the staircase <coughs> from and the kitchen. And I want TVC. both of you to. I want both of you to like roll a uh, perception check. All of us oh to perception. Wait, which both? All three of us? Like all of you. Yeah, all three of you. Oh. all three of you are working. Eight. I see how that oh, is. That's a, that's a 22. <laughs> okay. I see everything. Also, uh, having dark vision helps. 18. Oh, well, 20, well, 21. I was eight. Mm -hmm. Sure you. Right, it's our Reyes, dude. You you can't expect me to do anything better. <laughs> hey, he already found out that the boy was a spy. It's been pretty useful. <laughs> Where would we be without our Reyes insights? Hmm, debatable. <laughs> well, you don't think the boy is a spy? I, I, I think our Reyes is a spy. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see, uh... Uh, a creature. Uh, let's see how tall this thing is. Uh, shouldn't be too big. It's like a little above man size. Oh, that's so tall. Maybe, maybe it's like Montana size, but a little smaller. Hmm. And he has Dang, one really tall. He has like one big eye, one singular big green eyes. And it's like some spiky back and some claws, big claws, hands and big clawed feet. And he's just like walking like around the walking around the cavern. Do you recognize what it is? Like the name of it? Have like any of us seen something like that before? Uh let's this a nature check or what the it could be nature, it could be history, I guess, if we're like trying to remember what it is. Or let's say monster it's a monster, so let's go for nature, I guess. Alright. Ten. That's a four. <coughs> How about you, Montana? Oh, sorry, I think what? it's an animal. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Nature. Do a nature check. Nature check, nature, 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 nature. Nature is below medicine. And above perception. Fifteen. Oh. So, uh, Montana seems to be uh, recalling, like, some of his times when Becky is still, like, back at home. He, like, has 
heard stories of some kind of monster like this. It's called a, a Nothic. A what? A Nothic. Let me copy the name into Discord so I can. G N O T H I C? Like this. Nothic. Oh, Nothic. Sounds like a religion, right? It does sound like a religion. What are you? Yep, and I mean, it's like. Ah, <clears throat> oh, the Nothic. <laughs> 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 what what's what's a nothic? It's uh, like what, yeah. What does Montana know about nothics? You just know he's kind of like it's one of those like flesh eating monsters that leaf that leaf lives underground. It's a monster with one eye. Yep, and also that. Yeah, ask... and you can definitely see that. If you ask me, it's not quite appealing to hire a spiky-backed uh, cyclops to do your receptionist work, but what do I know about <laughs> mercenary? Are you guys Are you guys trying to hide or anything? No. Oh, I, I'm <coughs> going to walk up to it and say, ask if it's the receptionist. <laughs> okay. So uh, when you walk up to it, like he turns to you, and you did not like hear his mouth move, but like. You hear you hear some voices in your brain. So it's like, ha, ah, yes, what, what are you guys doing? Here? Hey, uh, are you are you the receptionist of the Red Red Riding Hoods? I'm here on official business. I'm here to deliver a letter. What? What's letter? You guys say. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, boyos, I don't think this receptionist is very re responsive. He is, uh, no, a letter, like, you know, a words written on a piece of paper. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to deliver it. I, I need to see the red brand uh, leader. I'm, I'm here on official business, you see. Business, what business? Uh, do, do, uh, do, you guys got, uh, do you guys have a, a meat? Yes, a fresh meat. No, guys, I, I don't Hang think on. I don't think I'm reaching out to him. I, Maybe is he asking for a bash? I can't hear what he's saying. Never mind. Uh, like, no, you all hear him. You all hear him. Oh, like, it's all okay. in your brain. Is he asking for a bribe? Sounds like he's asking for a bribe. No, um, just meat. Meat. Hmm. Montana, what do you think? I, I think he doesn't understand what we're going on about. He, he was asking me what is a business. I, I don't I think, think this is a very... I don't think it's a very effective <coughs> receptionist, do you? Don't you agree? I, think, I, I don't trust the receptionist to pass the letter on. I think I'll do anything <laughs> useful, Frank. Let's go back to the other place. Uh, right. What, you guys are leaving? No meat? Wait, wait. Uh, so, we're looking for... Your boss, your your leader, uh, the, the 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 man who's behind all of this place. Uh, can can you bring us to him? Oh, my boss. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, my boss. Ah, uh, yeah. You got you you bring you bring meat. Yes. Uh, yes. Was that a fee? Receptionist fee, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I I suppose, but. We're here on official business. We we shouldn't have to be paying the fees. Maybe they may have forgot about the fee. What kind of meat are you talking about? Any meat, any fresh meat. It can be oh, rabbits. It can be venison. It can it's, be. Does, you I see. I see. Does Montana I see. still have the head with him? The head of the thing, because when it's we not fresh, though, it's not. I wouldn't say it's fresh anymore. No. Well, yep. I mean, so wait, hold on. Uh, group, group up for a second. Okay. <clears throat> one one uh, second, by the Mr. Way, receptionist. We're just gonna have a quick. By the way, this guy here. is telepathic, so I don't think handling oh. up is. Okay. Is this <laughs> like he's speaking into your head. Well, I don't think he has high enough intelligence to understand our conversation anyway. I can't even understand <coughs> the word business. Uh, I barely have enough intelligence. <laughs> it, it, anyway, anyway, <clears throat> is this is the boy still outside? No, the boy's gone, dude. You tell him to go home, and he's gone. Oh. Hmm. Well, do you think the boy has meat? Yes. <laughs> oh. Weird, but 
I guess he's a spy, so he might be prepared for this kind of thing. <laughs> or, you know, he works in a farm, there would be livestock we can harvest. Oh, well, that's our permission first. We can buy chicken, right? Is chicken a thing in D and D? Of course it is. Okay. <laughs> so I mean, maybe maybe you can go back, go back to the farm and I don't know, buy a chicken or something, and just over and just over that up as well, flesh. I mean, no, I I don't see why we should have to front the costs though. No, like we're here. On <laughs> we should go back to the business. mayor maybe and ask to. Oh, 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 and yeah. offer and offer offer up the mail as the flesh. Mail, <laughs> mayor. <laughs> Well, I mean, you can't do that. Hmm. If the mayor dies, then the letter becomes null and void. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <coughs> also, it's bad to kill people. <laughs> I should have said that first. <laughs> um. Hmm. Maybe we should go back to the mayor and ask for some money. So we can pay this fee. Hmm. Alright. <coughs> Alright. Yeah, okay, let's... let's. Alright, Mr. Receptionist will be right back. Hey. Um, with... How much meat do you need? It will be... Ah, yes. Uh, t t t t t two cows, yes. <laughs> two cows, wow. Hey. The same oh. amount of two cows, at least. Okay. So, right, well. so I'm pretty sure the mayor will be happy to part with two cows just so we can talk to the receptionist. Like I didn't yeah, I imagine. That seems fine. I didn't imagine official business to be so costly. Yeah. Maybe that's why he never talks to them. And politics. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand <coughs> the world of politics. All I do is make stuff. Anyway, um, should we go back to the farm? Ask for the cost of two cows. Then go back to the mayor, get the money, back to the farm. Wait, why don't we just ask oh. the mayor for a, a letter to to take two cows? Like, why, why, why do we need to go through the extra step? This he's the mayor. Oh, well, he's the town master. He's just here to like deal with dispute and whatever. He doesn't have actual power, I don't think. Oh, oh. Uh, the voice from the sky says it's better to probably go ask for the cost of two curves. Okay. Alright, let's go do that. So now our rise is also hallucinogenic. <laughs> uh, Alright, uh, so we, we are we back at the farm then? Which farm? Yeah, like, uh, the elderly like farm. Wh whichever farm seems more likely to have cows. So okay, it would see. be elderly farm, wouldn't it? Yeah, the elderly farm should be more, more with a barn and whatever. So, you go back and then you see the kid like waving at you. What do you guys see? Did, did, did you guys like? Did you guys find the uh, bandits? Hey, we, well, we, no. uh, little spoy boy. Uh, we walked in and. Uh, there's this little cyclops dude who's got spikes all over his head and uh, he's like asking for some curse. So, uh, what, so what, what if we were to buy two curse from you, how much would it cost? Oh cool, you should talk to mum. Mum have cows? <laughs> mum have cows. <laughs> oh she's the cow. I don't get it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's, let's continue. <laughs> what have I done? Well, we, Mrs. We don't even know her name. Mrs. Carp, I guess, for now. Alright, little Carp. Uh, we're we're going to talk to your mother. Alright. Alright, Mrs. Carp. Uh, it's, it's, actually, it's actually Mrs. Elderly, yes. Hey, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Carp Leaf, uh, so, uh, we'd like to buy two cows from you, how much would that cost? Oh, two live cows, that's gonna be a little expensive, cause like, our cows are actually milk cows, so, uh, 
If you want that, that will cost you 10 gold each. 10 gold each? 10 gold per cow. That's not too expensive if you ask me, but that's a... Uh, I saw milk Are you coast. guys planning to... But are you guys planning to kill it, or...? Uh, yeah, we are looking more for, for slaughter milk. cows. Do you, you got any meat cows or something? Oh, meat cows. Yeah, meat cows. Meat cows we have. Uh, we have this very big meat cow. Uh, meat cows, like... I say is... I was saying because that cow I was just trying to sell you is kind of old and is kind of like retiring. That's why cow is like 10 gold and like... But like for meat <clears throat> cow, we have some pretty beefy cow, and like we that will be like uh, fifteen go each. Fifteen, so we'll need like thirty go, so to, to get two. Hey, so we should probably talk to the mayor for the gold. Yep. Alright. Uh, thank you, uh, Mrs. G Mrs. Uh, El El Elder cow. Out of the carp. Uh, I'll I'll go. Talk to the mayor and come back with the money. Please uh, set aside the cows for us. I'll be happy to help. Uh, I don't think people will be buying cows anytime soon anyway. I mean, it, let's let's head to the mayor's place and ask him for 30 gold. <coughs> Just straight yep. up go in a strong <laughs> arm. <laughs> so you guys go to the mayor's office. I <clears throat> Right, how do you end how do you enter the office? Uh it's official business we knock. Okay, you knock. And then the mayor says, I'll come in. I forgot the mayor's accent. Uh, it's <laughs> fine. So did we. I uh Hello Mr. Mayor. We're back here on the official business. Oh why are you guys back here again? Yeah, so so we tried delivering the letter to to the red riding hood spot. So, uh, the, the receptionist is this weird cyclops dude with a spiky, pointy hair. Ah, ah, you guys went there. I don't, I don't need the details, uh, but, uh. No, uh, so, so, I was trying to deliver the, I was trying to get the receptionist to show us to the leader, but, uh, so the receptionist isn't very effective. They're asking for two life curves. So, so, he wants two life curves before before we can go in, so uh, we we're here to ask you for thirty gold so we can buy the two life curves. How 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 is that my business? No, it's official business, me. Like, how is it not yeah. your business? This is your town's you're, business. You're, you're you're the one who wrote the letter. <laughs> you're the Why one who forced delivery? me to wrote the letter. Uh, it's the town's business. It's, of course, it's your business. I told you not to mess with them, and like now you're just gonna come back and ask me for more money. He's not helping us. He's working for the enemy. We're asking you for money. No, like he's working for the enemy. Look Kill here, him. look here, me. I, my companion here, he's very bloodthirsty. Okay, and we're trying to do this diplomatically, right? So we are here on official business. You can give us the 30 gold or, or we're gonna have to we're gonna have to start resorting to and more unseemly ways how do you put it because we're trying to be on the force of good here we're trying to deliver a letter and what do you do you won't even write us the letter the first time and no uh, what do you do we ask you for the gold so we can continue on our official business on your behalf and and you're like no you're, you're not gonna get our eye gold because i'm a greedy Grubby mayor, no, you give me the good, no, you give me the gold so I can buy the cow, so I can deliver the letter for you, or you don't deliver the letter at all. What my big mouth friend trying to say over here is either help either, either help us and end the, the, and the regime of the, the, the bandit, or you can stay under their shadow for eternity. Ooh, that's an intimidation check. Let's do an intimidation check. What? what? Fine. Uh, I was trying to be smart. Not to, not to be intimidating, but... 
I mean, like I was also kind of fine, intimidating. I, wasn't uh, I think let, let's say it's <clears> like per, like let's say Montana is more persuasive. So like Montana do a persuasion check and Arara is doing intimidation <laughs> check. <laughs> this should be dead eleven. Oh, 19. Oh, tw- 21. Oh. 11. <clears throat> so ah, very well. I guess you guys can like deal with them, but. Ah, oh, fine. Like, he turns to, like, under his, uh, desk and, like, ah. open some kind of safe and, like, grab a bag of, like, money out. He just, like, put it in front of you. Here's 30 gold. That should be enough for two cows. Okay. Uh, this is, like, the f- one good thing you've done today, Mr. Mayor. And I, I trust you won't regret doing the actually good thing for for the day so yeah we'll be on our way now thank you so i grabbed them. please don't make me regret it no 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 like we're we're, we're gonna help deliver the letter and the and the red riding hoods won't be bothering anyone again with the, after the strongly worded letters delivered <coughs> <laughs> so um this time because he hasn't been Making me angry, I don't slam the door on the way out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. No. Alright, I'll, I'll see you next time, Mr. Mayor. Let's hope next okay. time we're as amiable as we are this time. Okay, sure thing. Okay, close the door normally, like a... Okay. <laughs> so you guys gonna tread back to the... Yeah, to farm. The, to the farm, the farm, to buy the cow, to... to then deliver it to the, to the... You know, that mayor is surprisingly knowledgeable about the cost of cows. Oh. You'd think someone in that position wouldn't know the cost of cows, but he's surprisingly down to earth. But then, <coughs> we, I did ask him for 30 gold specifically, so... Oh. Hey, so let's go back to Miss, Miss Carp. Okay, you go back to the farm, and then like, Mrs. Elderly, like, turns to you and is like, Oh, hey, you're back! You still want the cows? Hello, Miss Elder Carp. Uh, yes, we still like the carp. Uh, the, the cows, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that will be, that will be 30 gold. I, uh, here's the official gold from, from the mayor. Uh, please, please handle it with care. Uh, it's- oh, the mayor is doing something about this. Okay, he takes, she took the gold, like, and like put it under the counter and then he like and she li- lets you to the barn and then points at the two meat car co- meat cows in front of you really beefy brown cows delicious <laughs> all right voila <laughs> all right we'll be taking those cows and hopefully we'll uh be back in a in we'll be Done with the balance <coughs> problem right after this whole or- ordeal. So thank you for your assistance, Miss M- Miss Elder Carp. No problem. Uh, good luck on that, young man. Hey, are these cow females? This... No, these are meat cows. So male? Okay. Yeah. All right, let's. These are meat cows. So. Who's gonna lose? How do we how do we get them into the yeah. <laughs> cave? We I carry them. <laughs> I mean they're alive, they can walk. Oh. Yeah, then. I guess I'll Do they just like follow? Or they they have let's, leaves or something, right? Let's do an animal hand Oh boy. Oh, oh no. wow, no. <laughs> no. No no no. Oh no. Oh, oh. Who is leading the cows? Let me try, let me, try, let, let, let I me. mean, Montana is the let, biggest uh, and strongest, should probably. Hold on. Right? Should, That's should, true. Let, let me try animal handling first. Yes. <laughs> Please don't fail. Historically. <laughs> Five. Five. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I'm, uh, a, I'm out of question. <laughs> I'm out of question. So, uh. So, what actually <laughs> happened to. Like, the cows struggle a bit and try to, like, escape. Like, oh, the God. moment you, like, left the farm. And I want you, I want Montana to do a strength check. To oh, see if you can, like, oh, pull, them, God damn pull it. them back in space. Wait, if, if we lose the cows here, then we don't have the official money to buy it. 
<laughs> Four cows. We don't have the official funding. You can't lose the cows. Seventeen. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough to really how, how much? Seventeen. Seventeen. Oh, that's totally fine. Like you pull strongly, and like the cows, like does the call they like the rope like tighten like to the collar, and then they just like do a give a little cry, and then they stop, and then they like look at you and it's like look, they look kind of disappointed. Like, I'm your their master fail. But then, yeah, they they just like kindly follow afterwards. Okay, at least at least that that's uh that's a non-issue. <laughs> oh, I don't want to go cow chasing in the town. <laughs> we've had I don't enough detours. Become new Pamplona. Yeah, we've had enough detours as is. Like we we started knowing that we were gonna go deal with the bandits today, and fifty minutes later we're still finding a way. In. <laughs> oh well, at least we're solving this little conflict. Yep. Alright, so I guess we make it back to the cave, do we? Yep, you make it back to the cave. Is the, is the Nothic <laughs> still there? I'm... Yeah, the Nothic is still like wandering in the cave. Alright. And at the moment you enter, you hear you hear, you hear voices in your head again. Like, oh, ho, back with back of cows, yes. <laughs> hey, um, Mr. Receptionist, so can we make this a deal? You lead us to your leader first, and then I'll give you the cows. No, be better yet, I'll give you one cow right now, and I'll give you the other one if you lead us to your leader. Because yeah, give me a persuasion cause... check. Oh god damn it! All right. Pers oh, wrong dice. Per perception. Uh, persuasion. You, know, you don't have to roleplay your character in real life, right? Huh? You can read, right? In real life. Bring what? You don't need to roleplay that hard. Oh. Hey! 12. Just because Montana can't read doesn't mean you can't. Shh, shut the fuck up. 12. <laughs> 12. I was like, hmm. Ah. And, and uh, no. all the cooking can go after the. Uh, after the the, the 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 we meet with your leader, please, because uh, we we don't really have the time for you to cook the cows here and butcher the cows here. Wait, wait. cooking? Why do we cook? We eat them fresh. <laughs> I don't think I like this reception so much. He doesn't even cook his food. I'm just worried about you know getting sick. He, uh, like, haven't you heard of food poison in my men? Well, why, 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 why would you not eat cow fresh? I mean, but fresh is fine, but I find aged beef to be tastier anyway. Yeah, like. And have, you tried, have, have you tried seasoned meat? Seasoned cooked meat that's cooked to perfection? <laughs> oh, suddenly it's turning into a gourmet show. <laughs> yes, I like to season my beef with uh, rosemary and thyme. I have never tried that before. Maybe one yeah. day we should teach you how to cook, my man. But uh, right. before that, we are here on official business, so if you'd very kindly lead the way, please. But you have to show me the way you cook that <laughs> Well, sure, but... And also, you have to leave that cow here first. Hey, we, I mean, we'll that's... tie the curse here, and then if you can just lead us to your leader, then we'll come back after the business and show you how to cook the meat. Mm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Because <clears throat> we are doing it in a very un unconventional way. <laughs> I, I don't see anything unconventional about this at all. This is how old D&D goes. <laughs> no? <laughs> let's see. Uh, I will have to go to the room. Uh. Right, I don't think anyone has ever tried to reason with a Nothic, just from the looks of it. I think people are... <laughs> Not very. They don't. So close minded. Yeah, they don't. They judge a book by its appearance, but this Nothic has been more reasonable than the mayor so far. <laughs> he, like, he, like, you can. Uh, you follow the Nothic, like, he's his crawl over figure, he just, like, walks slowly, like, along the side of the. Uh, carve the. Uh, carven, like, on the side of the dent, and then, like, he leads you towards, like, a. To opening, stonewall opening, 
so it's more like human based structure now and then you go like that go to the side and you go downstairs and then he points to the room on the right is he like that is this that is his workshop now that you know now we can come back here later but first you have to sell me how to cook the thing but i each wrist tell him yeah yeah what no oh he's upheld his he made a deal well yeah that's true the deal was that we'll go do our business first and then no he has altered a deal pray he does not alter <laughs> any further no like my good friend we, our deal was that we go in and do the business and then we I come, mean, come <clears throat> here and show you how to may come. i interject like there I are the kitchen anyway i mean we can just we can show like one or two ways there are like millions of ways to cook that's true beef like let's show them one maybe let them experiment with it while we're doing business the joy of cooking beef is learning i suppose sure. each person has their own taste that's yeah. true. Like, the, the simplest way is to salt and pepper. <laughs> and ah, spices. And <clears throat> with a bit of salt and pepper, and then you put, put it over fire, and uh... Don't you oil too? Eh? Don't you take oil too? Nah, if it's a roast, I mean... bre roast beef, you can just put it over the fire. And ah, just be, be wary, you don't lose all the juices. And then when the outer layer is crisp, the inside it's still juicy, and then, oh, you pack a bite, oh, that's heaven right there. And then you have a beer on top of it, and your intelligence goes up by 10. <laughs> oh, but have you guys tried my 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 uh, signature forge-baked <coughs> beef? Oh, that's oh, something that I'd like to try. Uh, Are we just sharing maybe, recipes? Maybe now? once... <laughs> Maybe once I've found Gundren, I can take you back to my uh, my hometown and uh, serve you a dish. Oh, by the way, w what's your name? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name, my Cyclops friend? Ah, Nautic have no name. It's just... All right. One eye. Alright, from now on, now on, I'll call you Jeff. Because you <laughs> remind me of a Jeff. Call me as you want. <laughs> I... But I shall now go prepare the beef. I thank yeah. you for showing us you the way here, so Jeff. well. Uh, you've been a lot. You've been a very reasonable man, and and I I I apologize for being rude to you on our first meeting. You're a good man, Jeff. He he ignores you and he just like walks <laughs> away, like, <laughs> walks away, like focusing on the thoughts that he's gonna try cooking for once. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if he'll change after being named. Uh, chef. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Makes me know if like he he he, he became a professional chef. Just like just just just, just Jeff just is on chef. Iron Chef going like my name's Jeff. I've learned I've learned how to cook in by these three weirdos. That are... just, Jeff the Norfolk Chef. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it just be Iron Jeff? <laughs> Master, Master Jeff. Master Jeff. <laughs> Jeff died. Okay, let's go. Uh, uh, okay, so, so uh, we're gonna knock we're on the door. We're so freaking off track. We're gonna knock on the door because this is official business. We must not forget to conduct ourselves in a mannerly way. Proper manner, yeah. Let's see. We're gonna knock on that room. He did say work. Wait, what did he say? He said. Let's do a perception check first. Oh, okay. See what oh. do you hear. Perception, perception, perception. That's a 14. 11. <coughs> I've been doing uh, decidedly average rolls today. <laughs> yeah, about that. Four. Ah, nah. <laughs> you guys hear nothing and you knocked on the door the the Nothic points, that Jeff points you to. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's no respond. Okay, I'm gonna try a bit harder and knock a bit harder. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I was gonna say, I, I gotta forget how to blast the door. But don't hurt yourself now. <laughs> I'll knock a bit harder and then say, um, hello, we are here on official business. I have a letter to deliver. <coughs> mm. You still hear nothing. What what material is a door made out of? 
It's a let's see. It's just a normy wooden door. Okay. Like, should we just go in then? Maybe he's got earmuffs on. I, uh, is there a doorbell or something? Not really. Not even a doorbell. Really? Wow, this is some establishment. I uh, first day hire. <laughs> I, first they hire a dude who doesn't know how to cook for a receptionist and no, they don't even wow. have a doorbell. To be fair, one <coughs> receptionist needs to cook. Uh, maybe that's true. Hey, let's just... You're being too judgmental. Anyway, should we just open the door and hey, let's just, have a quick look around? Let's just walk in. Or I, open, I try okay, to open so you the open door, the door Yeah, Okay, open the door normally. It's fine. It's not locked or whatever. So, the room appears to be like a wizard's like workshop. Uh, a rat's like scurries across the floor and like takes refuge under a large work table that's up with like a bunch of like different knickknacks of like sci like scientific al alchemical things and there are some of it some of us like boiling or whatever it's like making potion and stuff got some like bookshelves with like parchment and books and tomes wait a second i thought this was supposed to be a bandit's hider why is this now a wizard's hider? Is is this the black spoiler's hider? I knew the boy was up to something. <laughs> oh, also, like on the uh, other side of the room, there's another door. Wait, wait, wait! Um... Is this the friend warrior guy? Is <laughs> is this the place of the friend warrior guy is on about? Or is this Silda? Yeah, yeah, Silda warrior man. Wait, why would Sildar be here? Sildar's a oh, no, his... soldier. He's not a. <coughs> he he says a the, that... he's a wizard friend. Uh, yeah, he... Oh, Yago. Yago. Uh, yeah, Yago. Yeah, Yago. Yago. Maybe this is Yago's place. Oh, so that means Yago's a fucking spy. He's a spy working Fine for wish. the red, <laughs> the red Riding Hoods. Who would have seen this plot twist coming? Wait, wait, wait. So Iago is a double agent? Who is he really working? Is he working for the Black Spider or is he working for the Red Brands? I I guess we should go find out. Uh, uh, um, should we go through his letters? Uh, well, uh, we, we're here on our official business. We have to conduct ourselves in a... Oh, that's right. Yes. Um, manner leeway. There's the other door. Manner yeah, there's the other, so, other door inside the workshop. So this... Knock again, right? So this wizard's workshop is just like there's no one here. There's the mouse. There's a rat just like... I, well, I don't know enough about magic to know I, 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 I can't, or not. I can't speak animal. Rat. I can't read. <laughs> I can't speak animal. This Let the, me check my spells. Like, can, can I roll a perception to see if the rat is doing anything suspicious? Just like, casually. Like, passive. Uh, the rat is doing... Passive it's person. like following you around now. Oh wow, it's like, following what? us. The, the... Yeah. I feel a bit strange talking to a rat. The... So that seems to be following us. Well, let's not bother it and just keep looking for hey, maybe... the red brand boss. Maybe it's the smell of cur that I still have on us. Oh, that's true. Oh, sorry, right? we don't have any cheese. Yeah, yeah, gonna have to look elsewhere. Um. Is there anything special here that we can look to to... Is, is there like a box labeled rat food? Or rat snacks or something we can... No, no, that's, we're here on official business. We need to conduct Well, us. I mean, I feel like it'd be common courtesy to feed someone's pet if it needs to be fed. Do, do, you, do you know where the pet food is, Mr. Rat? Or where, where do you get your food from? Uh, okay, so it just squeaks, okay. I, I, I'm having deja vu moment. <laughs> uh, we, we'll deal with you, Mr. Rat, after we deal with the official business, please. Uh, uh, I'll hmm. go knock on the door. Suspicious. Yep. I mean... Uh, I'll knock on the back door a bit. Hello? Is anyone here? Are you here on official business delivering a letter? And you can see, like, uh, I don't want you to roll a perception check. Oh, okay. Passive or? No, no. Actually, it's the same. That's thing, a perception. Alright, passive, passive perception is, is just 
uh, always active. Always up. That's yeah. uh, six. My active person. Oh boy. No, it's fine. I think your passive perception should be... Passive. Oh, okay. Passive perception is working. 13. Yeah. So it should be working. And, uh... You hear some rambling inside the door. And... Oh. You're like... Some quick movement. It's probably someone inside there. Oh. Well, I mean, There's some... Maybe he's getting changed. We'll give him a minute. Hey. So, Mr. Rat, what do you do here for a living? <laughs> Is there a chair we can sit around while we wait for the host to come up? Uh, they are... <laughs> Actually, it's like, there's one chair in the room because it's a workshop area, but... Does he have anything hanging on the walls that we could pretend to be interested in? <laughs> like, some sort of portraits, or... It's not a very reception -y area, can, can I just like <coughs> no. sit on the floor and wait for our host to come up? <laughs> and now that you hear nothing, the sound in the room has... is gone. We knock again? Yeah, let's, let's knock again. Knock knock. No res no respond. Mm. Hello, we are here on official business. We are here to deliver a letter by the mayor or turn. Can can you open the door please? Uh no respond. If, if, if yeah, you don't respond, I'm gonna time. open the door myself. I'm gonna assume that we're we're gonna just come in. Do you need help? Did you fall over or something maybe? Yeah. <laughs> should, should we call for an ambulance, sir? Alright. <laughs> Nothing. I'll just open the door then. Uh, how's an ambulance? <laughs> you know, when you have people coming in on stretchers and taking you away to God knows where. I don't <laughs> even know how I knew the word. Hmm. So you open the door and it's a, it, it appears to be a bedchamber and the, uh, like a living room thing, like bedchamber. Uh, the walls of this bedchamber are covered with like drapes of like red cloths. And the furnishing includes a small writing desk and a matching chair. A pretty fancy looking bed and a wooden chest at the foot of the bed. Zerny and also door. seems like someone like hurries out, like, like leaves in a hurry just now. But is there another door? Is there another door? Yeah. Uh, I think that's an investigation check. I'm just looking for like if he's not if we heard noises and he's not here anymore, he must have gone somewhere. That's an investigation check. That's a seven. That's not enough. Mine's a twenty-three. Oh, twenty-three. Perception, perception. I'm investigation. Oh, sorry. Investigation. Six. I'm not very happy with the way we're being dealt with here. Like, we're here on official yeah, like business we're a, and... We're a bit on a, on a and, wild goose chase, it seems. Like... Well, nothing to do but diligently pursue. Hey, we're here to deliver a letter and we are not gonna stop until we deliver it. I have noticed something, though. Who? These drapes. They're red. Ah. Pretty on brand. <laughs> That, that's the results of my investigation. <laughs> so, what's the result of my note? I don't. Let's see. I, I'm trying to figure out what this part relates to. Let me read through this horrible book. Ah, <laughs> uh, seven. So, we really took an unconventional way, huh? I think so. Give me a second. I was Close like, my door. I mean, this this is a way, but the thing is, I don't know how to read this goddamn map. All the secret doors are so convoluted. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you you basically just know someone like just left from here. That's about it, and I think the secret door doesn't refers to here. Why is this secret door never mentioned? What the hell? So... If we came in through the way of the workshop, then there must be another way the guy could have left from. Yeah. 
Otherwise, we'd have run into him. Yeah. Well, maybe he's a wizard. Maybe he did something wizardy. Mmm, it teleports. Yeah, 12. Because, like, you are now in the room of the wizard, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. And uh, let's see. Like the bed chambers or something. Yeah, it's like a bed chamber. Oh, I know what I can do. We're looking for it a wizard, say. right? It does not say. It does not say anything about the secret door, but he just say he was just flee. Okay. So he did flee. So which way did he flee to? Like that my investigation lead up to. It seems like he's like fleeing outside. It seems like this is like a. Okay, I think I understand this stupid map now. Okay, this is a down and up. Okay, I understand. So you you did find a little secret door. Not a little, it's a secret door. And then when you open it, it like leads to an upward stairs. Oh. Staircase leading upward. Do we, do we, do we assume that... Ah, yes, it upstairs. does It does say about the secret door. Okay, good. Okay, I understand now. So we find this little chamber of stairs <coughs> going up. So, do we assume that the wizard's gone up? I, I guess so. It wasn't locked, right? Hey, um, Maybe he's inviting it. Maybe it's a test? Oh. Uh, hey, sir, if you don't mind, I'm here on official business, so I'm just gonna come up here if you're upstairs. And I start okay. ascending the stairs. Ascending and then like you go into uh, some sort of like a storeroom area and it appears to be done at the north of that car cavern you just like uh, good old Jeff is in and but it is like a lot of like stones and stuff and several barrels against the walls a lot of empty crates hammers pry bars storage it's like a room. workshop yeah it's like a Workshop area, like Ooh. storage area. Really, is this, Anything cool? This enterprise could use a guest room. Like, I, I, I would, I wasn't. I understand that they wouldn't like to conduct business in the bedroom, but they, they could use a place where there's like a table and we can sit. A waiting there. room or a meeting room. Yeah. Or we can sit down and actually have a yeah. face to face. Do I, do I? Yeah. Do I see anything cool in the workshop? No, it's boring stuff. Oh, okay. There, like, in this storage area, um, do we find tracks of where the guy might be? Is the guy here? No, he's not here. Let's do an investigation check. Investigation. Woo. That's a 50. That's 13. another 23. Okay, oh, you see, you, you kind of like have a little bit of tracks. Seems like he's fleeing downwards across the ravine, uh, Jeff is in, and then like, like, go. Wait, so we went not downwards, through, like go southward. We went through his room, and then we went through this storage area, and then we're being led to believe that he went the same way Jeff was in. This is like a little loop we go in. Oh, wow. Okay. Like not not loop. So like basically like uh. What what we go what what we go just now is we start from the south, yeah. which is the the opposite the south side is, of which the, is the ravine, the caravan, uh, yeah the the ravine, and then we go uh, north, and then we go uh, go to the west into his room, west and north. Okay, okay, so and, and then we go back east. So basically, That's we, we cross the, the ravine, and now we're on the other side. Exactly, we're on the other side of the ravine now. But we could still see Jeff, right? If we go that way. Yeah, Jeff is still like you can see Jeff started a fire. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like wearing an apron made of freaking cow leather. <laughs> and then and then you can see Jeff. Uh, uh John, you can, you can, and Jeff sees you guys wave, here, and then like in. you can see. Oh what? yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, the wave friendly at wave. Uh, friendly wave. Friendly wave. Friendly wave. And then like you can see, uh, Jeff like waves back while he's like cooking, and then like. <laughs> And you can say I hear sounds in the head. It's like, oh yeah, the, yes, the, the, the wizard is ex escaping. He's running. 
But ah, yes, I taste the thing. It's good food. <laughs> and now he's just he's just escaping through the front door there. You can go there and follow him if you want to. <laughs> hey, thanks. Who here was this hard to deliver a letter? I feel sorry for the post people in this world. Hey. In this town. Hey, let's go. Let's go after him. Thanks, Jeff. Enjoy. Glad you enjoy the food, mate. Next time we share more recipes. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, yes. We'll and then uh, and, and then you can see uh and then I will want you to do uh let's see. This is how Jeff has found his new love for food. And like, this is how he I, I want you to do a wisdom uh saving throw. Wisdom. Oh boy. Wow. Cuz Jeff like looks at you and I I and I want Let's see. Wisdom oh, saving Jesus. throw. You will have to do a wisdom against my charisma. That's a natural 20. 12. 16. Oh. <laughs> and, then, and then Jeff be like, oh, I guess I'll have to get the recipe out of you next time. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Uh, secret family recipe. Don't let it go that easily. All right, let's go. I, it's already, Jeff, we know where you live, so we can always come back and find you next time. Yep. Okay. Good luck then. Ah. See you, my friend. <laughs> See you, good friend, Jeff. And then he just like follows, like past you walk past Jeff, and then like you see another kind of like another way, a secret way, Ooh, wow. like going through stuff. So many secret tunnels in this place. I, I like uh, a, a corridor that like kind of seems to be leading back to the direction you come in. <sighs> not no no not not come in, but. Like you pass the other side of the feed and then you see another secret door and the secret door is already open because apparently the wizard already go past here. Okay. Well I mean an and... open door is an invitation, so Yeah. I said we're gonna continue pursuing you because we are here on official business to deliver a letter. Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> <laughs> and you go into the room. Uh, this room is a uh, kind of nice room. Uh, there's some like empty barrels around, and there's like in the middle there's a square, like a rectangular pool of uh, clean water. <coughs> and in front of you, you see uh, three red brands like standing here, looking at you, like oh, blades out, ready finally. to ready to fight. Hello. What? We're here on official business. We're here to deliver a letter. Oh. Would you like to? Uh, are you here to receive? I would like you to roll for initiative. Roll for initiative first. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! I'm here to deliver a letter. I don't want to be. I don't want to kill anyone. Just. <laughs> no, they want to kill you. That's the no, problem. <laughs> oh, let me write it in um, Discord. Eleven. That's write it down. Yep. Uh. Roll. If it's the uh, same initiative, is it whoever? Whoever has dex. a higher dex. Yeah. 11. Which, oh, what wow. dex do you have? My dex is plus 1, so 13, so... Mm. What's that? Mine's plus 3. Zero. So, Montana goes first, and then Arareas, and then Thorin. And then my red blade. Red brands. <laughs> oh, so Montana, you can actually act first. Hmm. How many? You don't have to. Like, they're not like they're ready to fight. So. How many are there again? Uh, three of them. Rage. Rage. Okay. Oh wait, let me check that off my character list first. No. Angry. Rage. Uh. Am I in striking distance with any one of them? Uh, you gotta have to walk a little bit. <clears throat> After you walk, you can hit them. Alright, I walk and I hit. Montana, Montana, we, Montana. Montana, Diplomatic. We're here on, Come on, man. We're right here on official business, not resort to violence. We're here to deliver Bruh. a letter. They, mm. We're here to deliver a letter. Please. That's all we're here to do. All right, fine. I'll stay put for. Yeah, I'll stay put for now. All right. So, Mister Red Riding Hood, 
We're here to deliver a letter from the mayor. So, uh, allow me to read out loud this letter. I don't. What's the content of the letter? Mind you, it's a very strongly worded letter. So, <laughs> like, basically, you can you can say it like as you like okay. it. So, like, right. it's fine. So, on official behalf of the mayor, um, we have found your recent act of robbery and um, debauchery and uh, also all the theft and general criminal uh, activities to be very uh, un, un dis dishonorable and uh, this is not acceptable within our community and uh, we strongly condemn any use of such criminal behaviors for your own personal gain and uh, if possible we would like you to turn down the <laughs> criminal activities or we will have to take disciplinary action and uh, official seal of the mayor I ho hold the ma uh, letter up and point at the official seal and a signature so, so this is a real deal. This is a real strongly worded letter directed at you from the mayor. So I'd like to see a leader, please, and deliver this message to him so that you, you guys can, you know, not be criminals anymore. Uh, I want you guys, I want you to have a persuasion check with a disadvantage. Oh boy. <laughs> <sighs> You can, uh, turns out you can right click your roll buttons if you want to roll with. Oh. Nine. Yeah. Nine. Nine, that's not enough. They don't seem very convinced and they still have their sword, like, pulled out. No, sir. This is a official seal of the mail. If you don't put away the weapon, I have official rights to Ilgis blast you. <laughs> is that written on the letter, too? <laughs> it's not written on the letter, but it's not written on the letter, oh. but but they are not complying. It's official business. I will not how dare they interrupt intercept official business. I mean <laughs> so, so I your turn yeah, done. My turn is done. <laughs> okay, now that's Florence's turn. It's a it's an official letter. Come on. <laughs> I'm not as good with the words as our is. Come on. <laughs> Another persuasion check with disadvantage. <sighs> oh, that's a five. <laughs> <laughs> they look at you weird and like now do you end your turn? Of course. Okay, now it's their turn and they'd be like you, you, you guys come all the way, chase the boss out just to deliver this letter? I mean, yes. I don't know why your boss ran. It's just a letter. We're here Is on he official like... business of tapping the letter really hard right now. Like, Oh! <laughs> Is your boss, like, like, allergic to paper cuts? Like, like this is... I have I'm... no idea what you're saying, but boss... But my but boss tell me to stay you. I'd cut why? you down. I don't know why the... That seems why a the bit Nautic extreme. over there didn't do the job, but I think we will finish it. Uh, one of the red brands like go towards Montana, and then I do a little like skimeter slash. Oh wow! Oh wait, wait. Uh, any of wait. these guys bald, by the way? There's a skill I can activate. Uh... Stones. That's only if it hits, dude. Yeah. See if it hits first, dude. Oh yeah. Okay. It's it's a it's a four it hits for jack shit. <laughs> I'm I'm still language. I'm still tapping. Like, this is what I'm doing. I'm tapping the piece of paper. <laughs> we are here on official business! Why, why are you attacking the us? Other one, the other one also come towards you, but this, he, this guy got like a, a rapier instead of a scimitar. So also he's just coming like, do a, do a stab at, uh, at Ararias. No! I'm here to deliver an official letter from the mayor! Why are you attacking me? I roll a 16. Wait, sorry, what? I roll a 16. Oh no. Oh. Uh, my, my AC is 12, so it hits. 
Now the rapier stabs through the letter in your hand and then like hits it in your shoulder. So I'm gonna roll a. I'm gonna roll a d6 for damage. <laughs> d6 plus one. That's a six damage. Oh, wow. <laughs> now we're gonna have to get another letter. Another official letter, mate. What? What are you doing? Let's got the mayor's seal on it. You hit the other guy uh, with a with a little range called crossbow. A little light crossbow. Even though this is like a very tight quarter, he still used the crossbow. He can like go take a shot at like four. So he, he keeps his distance. Not not like the other one that the other two like walk towards to you guys, but the other guy, the one like keeps his distance. Let's see my roll. I roll a seven, so that's not a hit. He shoot, but he misses for it. Now it's Montana's turn. Hmm. Alright, the one I'm trying to hit me with. Beat him up! Beat him up! <laughs> They're interfering Damn. with official business! Yeah, I'm planning to. Um, I just... So, someone was trying to swing at me, swing at me with a scimitar? Uh huh. I retaliate. Yes. Uh, I swing at him with my axe. Oh, are you gonna use reckless attack? Oh, right. Oh, reckless attack when you. Fl- it gives you advantage, but it means everything against you has advantage too. I don't know my next turn. Mm-hmm. Well, you and have enough AC to basically be like, uh, whatever. Advantage. You also have damage reduction in rage. <laughs> oh yeah, true. All right, all right, reckless attack. Reckless. Okay, let's roll an attack. You, you can decide to attack recklessly if you advantage on melee attack roll using strength. Just roll with advantage, dude. Wait. What I what I throw? It's your attack. I mean, hello. Normal right. attack, but uh, right. then hit right first. click and have advantage. So on hit, it's eighteen plus six, twenty-four. Okay, that's okay. That's, that's definitely hit. You said right click. Right click. Thing? Dot damage. Wait, you can't. You... No, no, no. It's advantage on the hit. Yeah, yeah. and then you just click the damage. There's no right advantage on damage. Just do your damage. Where just click first. Just click damage. Just click the damage on the weapon you use. Oh. It's uh <coughs> two plus four, six. Plus, okay, uh, plus another two because rage, right? So that's eight. That's eight. Uh you you land a pretty deep cut on the guy, and he seems very bloody and he's like, ah Wait. Like I didn't actually do anything though. What? It's just a warning swing, right? You don't actually hit anyone. It's not. It's not a strike to kill. Because we're here on official yeah. business, we conduct ourselves manually. Unlike some. But he does look pretty hurt. <laughs> the blood is all fake. We're here on official business. <laughs> okay, are you are you done? I mean. Yeah. Okay, now that's our own eyes. And I, I have given you enough warnings. I said I have... Uh, I, I put away the letter carefully first, even though there's a hole in it now. I put it into my pocket and then I still... I'm gonna mend it. I'm gonna ask Thorin to mend it after this, but... This is gonna take some time to mend. You're, you're interfering with official business, so don't... Don't expect to... That I will hold back with my Eldritch Blast. I warn you, I have disintegrated goblins with this Eldritch Blast before, so you better be prepared to Eldritch Blast the guy who has stabbed me. Okay. Do it. I'll do a hit roll. Oh, wow. That's a uh, one plus six, <laughs> oh, <no>. seven. <laughs> is, that a cri- is that a critical That's a crit fail? fail? It kind of is, but it's, it's, it's one plus six, seven. That one doesn't hit, but as at, at least it doesn't hit anything. Ari, that was just a warning shot. Let's see, a crit fail, I would say, is like it is a crit fail. An opportune attack. Yeah, it's a crit fail, so it's an opportune attack. When you like fizzle the algae flies to an un, like to a very far off direction, the guy with the rapiers like take a stab at you again. Oh. 
Damn it. That's a 10. Oh, I, uh, I actually Misses. not got, didn't get hit. 10 doesn't get hit, so like, even though you fizzle your Eldritch Blast, like the stab doesn't get to you. Now that is Boren's turn. I cannot stand people who don't respect the rule of law. I'm going to Guiding Bolt the guy who stabbed the piece of paper. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, okay. <laughs> what That's, is Guiding Bolt? Uh, 19. To hit. Is, is Guiding Bolt like magic missiles? No, it's not guaranteed. Oh, okay. But it does damage. That's a hit. That's a hit, so that does... 19 damage. Wait, hold up. <laughs> I'm not joking, man. You can't disrespect the rulers like that. Okay. Is that fire or whatever? It's just a... It's... It's a light... It's a, it's a flash radiant, of light. Radiant damage. It's a light ball. A ball of light, like, flashes through and, like, it charges the energy, hits the guy right in the stomach. And he just got, like, knocked to the wall and then, like, he laid them dead. Respect the law. <laughs> okay, the other two is like... Also, if anyone wants to hit him again, they have advantage. <laughs> okay. I don't think anyone does, but... <laughs> okay, the, uh, the rest of the red brands. Uh, the red, uh, the very bloody red brand has got axed by John. Oh, I just want to say I have no problem with the rest of you. Since you technically haven't actually attacked us properly. I'm just going to go ahead and assume your two first attacks were warning shots. But I will say this. Respect the law. We just want to see your boss. And like the, I think they're just more afraid of the boss than you. So okay, the the I'll just bloody guy will... one of the guys. But fine. <laughs> the bloody guy still like go ahead and do another axe attack at Montana. With advantage. With advantage, because you're reckless now. So what do I roll? No, you roll nothing. nothing. No, I roll. Oh, okay. I, like, not gonna lie, I roll, I roll completely two same dice. <laughs> so <laughs> both of them is a 17 to hit. Oh. What's Montana's AC ever about? Uh, what's AC again? Armor class. Yeah, armor, armor class. class. Armor class. Armor class. It's next to your initiative. Brainiac. Oh. The little shield icon thing next to the defenses thing. Underneath oh, your oh. walking speed. That's it. 16. Oh, you get hit then. Yes, I hit. And that's a D6 plus one. Oh, I hit for four damage. Oops. Rage uh, reduces by two. It halves it. Oh, half. So. It... Oh, so it it is. It does reduce by two. So it's two. Two. All right. In that case, I yeah, have eighteen health. Like <laughs> I thought you wanted to use your ability. Squishiest barbarian. <laughs> the, is, ain't that my fault? My fucking world screwing over. <laughs> Language. Language. <laughs> oh, feels bad. <laughs> And then the other, the other guy with the, uh, with the crossbow, crossbow aim at Florin. Wait, what happened to rapier guy? I can't, I kind of missed it. Did he, did he die? I guiding bolted him into the wall. <laughs> oh, okay. And then he's, he's just dead. <laughs> wow, guiding bolt one shot at him. Yeah. Yep, guiding bolt one shot at him. Four d six, yeah. It's four d six. How much damage did you? Do? I rolled nineteen. Oh God. I, 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 I rolled really well. I was looking up what my fey abilities were because I forgot I don't have it in uh, in my rule book. Yeah. Okay, my, my crossbow guy, crossbow red brand, hits a 21 to hit. Ouch. It's a 19, so I, it's a plus 3 to hit, I think. So it's 22 to hit. Yep. So it definitely hits. Wait, who is he shooting? Me. He's shooting forward. Oh, okay. It makes sense. He just vaporized the guy. Let's do a D8 for a Ooh. crossbow. But of course I roll a 1, so it's 2 damage. Oh no, I'm now at 19 health. 
And it is Montana's turn. The bloody guy still in front of me, right? Yeah. Right, but end this mental career. I swing at him <laughs> normally. Yeah, they they Go now ahead. have officially attacked all of us, so we have, That's true, we yeah. have official rights to retaliate. Uh, this is now self defense. Yep. Alright, hit. Uh, 14 plus 6, 20. Oh, that's a hit. Yep, then. Or slashing. 7 plus 4, 11. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> you do a slash and then, like, you just basically, like, just slash him down and your butt spells out and he just, like, falls down to the floor. Alright. <clears throat> You're next! And po points at the. The, yeah, the, the, roommate, the, the last guy. And now it's our last turn. Oh, Ari, I for an intimidation check. Ari, I have given a warning shot and a warning letter, and you're still a <coughs> suit, Thorin, so I am gonna Eldritch Blast you. Don't blame me if you get vaporized, but Eldritch Blast. Oh no, okay. Aha! 13 plus 6 is a 19 to hit. Oh, that's a hit then. I, I do my damage. Uh, 6 plus 4, that's 10. Oh. 10. You get hit, he get hit by an Eldritch Blast, but like, he's like barely standing, but he's like very weak right now. Interrogate him. Hey, yeah, yeah, you see this? I pull out my official letter again. You shot a hole in the official letter. <laughs> yeah, what? I, I walk up. Like, I still have movements, right? I have my movement bonus yep. action. I use my bonus action to point the letter. You see this, what you did to the official letter? Uh, this is supposed to be delivered to your boss so that we can officially condemn his um, criminal actions. And now you put a hole in it. Your friend put a hole in it. And it has my blood all over it. Like, what? What are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna... Like, this is... This is something that requires official compensation. Uh, let's do an intimidation. <laughs> oh, that's 18 plus 4, 22. Consider him intimidated. He... He surrenders. He'd be like, Yeah, just... Yeah, the boss is gone. For now, I think. I don't think he'll return here very soon, but... Well, how are we supposed to deliver this we're, letter? We're supposed to give it to your boss! You need to tell us where about it! I... I don't know why you guys are so... so intense about delivering this letter, but... I don't think the boss will actually read it, but... I guess you can give it to the... To me, and I'll go like deliver it to him if that will work. No, for you. This is official business. I am supposed to read it earlier to him like I did to you. Like, because your whole organization needs to know that the mayor officially denounces your criminal activities and would like you to stop. And, and it was me that's supposed to read it to your boss, and your boss just keeps running away. Why is he running away? I'm here on official business. Uh, like, I, shaking I him as I talk. <laughs> I'll just say boss is a very secretive man, but... I don't know why you guys are brave enough to walk in here like that. We're supposed to scare adventures like you off. Um, like... Uh, <laughs> We don't want bandits in the turn to get it. We're here not to. We're not here to. We're here on official business so that we can. I don't know, I'm shaking him really hard as so. <laughs> <laughs> What's um? What's your boss's name? <laughs> we call him the Glass Staff. He is the Glass what? Staff. He does, He never. He never tell us his real name, but he. But yeah, he is. He is the Glass Glass Staff. So his staff is made of glass. That seems pretty fragile. Yeah, I would he, never make a staff out of glass. Yeah, so, so I let go of the it man. It actually is like, glass staff. Hmm. Um. The, uh, down, how do you how do you do glass staff in the in the Arabic accent? That's it. Hmm. Glass staff sounds like a 
Sounds like something that Black Spoiler would use. Oh, this Black Spider, right? Is is this Black Spider that hire us to like scare off like people like you? So like, wait, wait, wait. You know of the Black Spider? I mean that. I mean the boss said we are hired by him, so. Yeah, see, I told you the boy was a spoy working for the Black Spoiler, <laughs> cause yeah, God. Black spoiler, then you can't spell black spoiler without spoiler, you can't spell spoiler without spoil, and you can't spell spoil without boy. I knew it, I knew the boy was related to the black spoiler all oh, from the get go. I'm a genius. <laughs> Ari, <laughs> you know what? You're redeemed, son. We, yeah, you're redeemed. You, you did a ton of good today, so. Pat you on, pat him on the shoulder. Yeah, you did good. We, you, you proved that the boy is a spoil. Come on, boys, we need to go get the boy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he's fooled us this whole time. <laughs> we can't even tell he's lying. He is that good at lying. He was so good at yeah. lying that we thought he was telling the truth. Oh, wait. He's a master of deception. We need to. Okay, we so need to chase down gl uh, this glass stuff boy, and we, then we need to apprehend the carp, the magic carp boy. Okay, wait, so you wait, guys wait, like... wait, wait, what if the glass stuff and the boy are the same person? Oh my god, this... oh. <laughs> that would mean that carp is a wizard. <laughs> that would make him magic carp. <laughs> oh no. We've gone full circle. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was in our noses this whole time. So, uh, you guys uh, le leave the crypt. Uh, leave the underground uh, area because there's a, a staircase like leading upwards. That seems to be where the wizard go. So you leave the place and then you like leave the manor alone. And this will end uh, today's section.